So a lowland Persian may not seem like a whole lot at first, but its three abilities help it out in three entirely different ways, and its stat change, which changed 10 base attack to 10 base special attack, could actually be just the buff it needed to be an effective special attacker, and its other abilities can actually make it very useful in the VGC meta. I've already seen uses of it, and it's been very good at faking out the opponent and taking hits, honestly, which is something I never thought I'd say about a Persian. So looking at its base stats, it's pretty even across the board, it's not very bulky, its base HP is just okay, its base attack is only 60, which is very low. Its base special attack is now 75, which is decent enough since it gets nasty plot, but if you're not running that, you shouldn't expect to be doing much damage. But where this Pokemon really shines is its speed stat. Base 115 outspeeds everything in the super crowded 100 and 110 base speed tiers, as well as the occasional Pokemon that rocks base 111 speed, which is very annoying for people who try to run speed tiers to keep ahead of their opponent. So Alolan Purgeon is actually very good at that. It switches from a normal top to a dark top, which means that instead of one weakness and one immunity, it now has three weaknesses, two resistances, and one immunity. And unfortunately, one of its weaknesses is fairy, which is very common in the new meta, especially with the four tapus all liking to run Dazzling Gleam or something similar to that. Its three abilities help it, as I said, in three different ways. Fur Coat helps it defensively, Technician helps it offensively, and Rattled gives it more speed. So Rattled is probably the least useful ability because getting hit by a bug, dark, and ghost type move, increasing your speed by one, really isn't necessary with this Pokemon because its speed is already high enough. It really needs help in another area. Now, Fur Coat is the move you will most likely, or the ability you will most likely see in VGC because it has all physical hits, which means your base 60 defense might as well be base 120, which is much more effective, which is able to take way more hits, it can eat fake outs for days, and any non-super effective move, this Pokemon just kind of laughs at. Along with that, it can run fake out, which can slow your opponent down, and if you're running something like leftovers, gives you a chance to heal up even more. It also gets Technician, which boosts any move with a base power of 60 or less to 1.5 times their original base power. Which is actually really good for certain moves this Pokemon gets, but we'll get there in a moment. So, the first set I have is the Sweeping Single Set. So, you'll want probably a Life Orb on this. You can run a Focus Sash if you're really worried about getting knocked out in one shot. But I like the Life Orb for the extra damage that you definitely need. You could run a Timid or a Modest Nature here. I like Modest because, like I said, you need all the power you can get. Max out your special attack and your speed, a little bit in either of your defenses, and then you'll want to run Nasty Plot to double your special attack. From there, you really just need power, you need coverage. And at first, I thought Dark Pulse would be the obvious move for a special attacking Persian. But then I got to looking and I noticed that Snarl is only base 55, which means Technician boosts it to 82.5, so it barely edges out Dark Pulse. However, Instead of having the chance to flinch, you also guarantee that your opponent will lose special attack, which means that special attackers that would normally outperform and outpower Persian are now losing their offensive presence and are being forced to switch out whether after Persian is beat or in the middle of the battle you could wear its special attack down with Persian and be able to knock it out with either one of your other moves or just by hitting it over and over. Hidden Power Flying is also very good because it gives you a chance to hit fighting types that would like to switch in on your moves and if you're running dark top or rock top coverage like I have here, you really need something to handle those fighting tops. Because Hidden Power is only base 60 power, it actually also gets a buff to base 90 and having a special base 90 perfectly accurate move is something that a lot of Pokemon really wish they had with the flying top coverage. Now the last move I put on here was Power Gem, just because 
uh, Rock is a good top to have, especially with Power Gem being 80 base power and Rock Top being hard to switch in when you also have the Dark and Flying coverage. So it also gets Thunderbolt, which is decent coverage if you prefer it over Power Gem or Hidden Power. And it also does get Hypnosis and Dream Eater. Now, I would never tell anybody to run Hypnosis because it's terribly accurate. It can't hit hardly ever. But even when it does, your opponent's just going to get very frustrated with you. And then it gets Shadow Ball, which is really kind of not necessary if you already have the Dark Type coverage getting your stab. So I really like the idea of Snarl being so boosted with it. You could also run a bulky... Persian, and this one's made more for singles, but it would run with either Leftovers or Chestoberry, and this time instead of Technician you would be running Fur Coat, and you would run a Bold Nature to boost your defense even further, while running Max HP and Special Defense so that you can kind of take hits on both sides. Now from there, you could run Snarl, as I said before, it reduces your opponent's special attack. Then you could just run Toxic to wear them down, because obviously Snarl is not going to be doing enough damage. Past this, you could run Rest, and you could either have Sleep Talk in tandem with it to continue using Snarls or toxic switch Switch-Ins, or you could run Taunt and then run a Chestoberry so you didn't have to just wait for two turns. And what Taunt would do is stop you from being set up on by, say, Steel Tops or Pokemon that could take the damage from a Toxic or a Snarl and then wipe out your Persian and the rest of your team. Past this, Persian does get other support moves. It gets Amnesia that doubles its special defense, and if you ran a max defense Fur Coat Persian and then activated Amnesia, you would be very hard to kill on either side without a critical hit. You could also run Fake Out, which can be used on the first turn and can flinch your opponent. This is the premier move that this Pokemon needs in VGC because it stops one of your opponent's two Pokemon from acting. You could also run Substitute to prevent yourself from being statused. You could run Parting Shot, which this Pokemon does get, which means that you could gain momentum, reduce your opponent's stats, and bring in something else, although I think it would be a bit better on another set. And lastly, you could run Spot, probably in tandem with Substitute, because what this does is reduce your opponent's uses of each move. So if they're using a move like Fire Blast, instead of only being able to use it on you eight times, or instead of being able to use it on you a full eight times, using Spot cuts it down to only twice to four times. Which, although it sounds a bit situational and not worth using at first, I think in certain situations it could really do work in taking away your opponent's ability to use certain moves that are most commonly run. It's also useful for other 5 PP moves that only get boosted to a maximum of 8, such as Stone Edge, because Spot always cuts them down by 4. Now, the last set I have for this is a Scarfed Persian. It would be an Adamant Nature, probably. You could also run Jolly, or if you really wanted the extra speed. But I think Adamant usually does the job, because 115 speed is very hard for a lot of Pokemon to top, especially on top of a Joy Scarf. You could then run, of course, max speed, max attack, and then your moves are really up to you. Parting Shot and U-Turn both switch you out. So I think running both of these together could actually be very useful, because you could choose whether you wanted to do damage or you wanted to weaken your opponent when you came in and when you switched yourself out. Thief is also a decent move on a physical attacking Alolan Persian, because since your attack is so low, Thief gets boosted by Technician, and so if your Choice Scarf gets knocked off, or if you decide to switch a Ruid away and lose your item that you gain from your opponent, then you could keep stealing your opponent's items. But really, its physical attack is not worth using so much, so I'm not sure how effective that could be. Now, your last move I think Switcheroo would be best, because as I've said in other videos, giving a Choice Scarf to a defensive Pokemon pretty much cripples them and makes it so that they can't both deal damage and heal at the same time without switching out, which is the two things that bulkier tanks are supposed to do. Now, the last few moves that I thought were interesting, especially for doubles teams, are Assurance, Faint, and Quash. So, Assurance is a move that I'm sure you've all seen playing through the game. You get hit by it from Crocodiles and different Dark-type Pokemon, and, you know, it's okay power, but what's it do anyway? So what Assurance does is, if your opponent has taken prior damage in a turn and you hit them with an Assurance, 
then it's double powered. It's already 70 base dark type move, so say you have a choice scarf crocodile on your VGC team, and you also have this Persian who is outsped. Your crocodile uses rock slide, hits both of your opponents, then you hit them with a 140 base power assurance, and it actually does way more damage than they would have ever expected you to do. And that's just one example. I'm sure there are other ways this could be used properly, but it's a decent move to catch your opponents off guard just because you never really see it. You could also run Faint, which breaks through Protect and stops your opponent from using it. And then Quash stops your opponent's Pokemon from going next. So, say you had Persian, and then you had a very slow Pokemon, let's say Guzzlord in this case, and your opponent had two mid-speed tier Pokemon. If you were to use Quash on one of them, they would not go until after your partner had a chance to go. So if you knew they were going to KO you, if you had just used Protect on your Guzzlord, you could Quash them, and suddenly your Guzzlord gets to knock out on them versus vice versa. So while Persian may not seem like much, looking at it straightforward and just looking at its stats and its abilities and its typing, it really has a lot of different moves that could be very useful. You just have to find the spot that works best for it because while Persian has its time to shine, it also has a lot of shortcomings depending on what you decide to run. Because if you run a physical attacker, you're never going to be doing much damage. If you want to run a special attacker, you have to boost to do decent damage. And if you want to run bulky, then you're still going to have to do something to help your other stats up. But really, I think this Pokemon is going to be quite a surprise factor in the VGC season. And although I'm not well versed in it, I really think this Pokemon could make a difference and be one of the biggest fake out users in the generation.